Okay. First things first, the lined paper that goes inside the journal. I designed my own lined paper um, in Adobe Illustrator just so that it would fit on the size pages that I wanted to use, eight and a half by 11, um, with a space for where I'm folding them. And I just basically have this two pages, the same, um, and I just print it back and front on my printer. And so what I'm going to do is because I know not everybody's going to be able to design their own paper or just, you know, do that. I mean, you can, you could do it in Microsoft Word probably or anything, but um, since I have this already, I'll just um, put a link to it so that you can use it if you want to. But that's the first thing. And I print, I like to do, my view on journals is that they shouldn't be completely lined because if you're really meant to be expressing yourself, sometimes you want to doodle, sometimes you want to draw things or maybe do like um, diagrams or whatever. So I like to do like half and half lined paper and just plain blank paper. So I, and I do 12 signatures in these journals. The signatures are basically um, one um, packet of pages and I do 12 of four pages in here. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so here's what I mean by that. See my printed pages here? Um, I do four of these in a stack and then fold them and that's one signature for the journal and I do 12 of those. So what that means is that I will want to print 24 of the lined pages, which are back and front, 24 back and front lined pages, because that would be six signatures of four pages each. And then I just fold um, the blank paper unprinted. Let's see if I have. Uh, there you go. I just take four pages, um, stack them, fold them, and do that six times. So 12 total, four of each, six of them have lined, and six of them have just, you know, plain blank paper to draw on or whatever. Okay, so um, this is where I, for the very first page I changed, I took out the side of lined paper that's going to show in the front of the journal, and I just put in the quote that I wanted to use. So now you can see what our theme is. Um, it's going to be a Hamilton journal. So I'm going to print back and front, but just the one page, and it's going to replace one of the pages of lined paper that I have. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the back journal. And there's the back, but because at the end, the last signature um, that will be in this book is going to be blank paper because I'm doing every other. Um, I did this one on non-lined completely and I'm going to print that front and back. Well, actually I don't have to front and back this because it's just one side. Okay, and I'm printing that. All right, let's see if I can do this one time for you here. Okay, so here you go. One, two, three, four sets of the lined stacked together. Folded in half. You can't see what I'm doing here, so I'm gonna hold this up, fold it in half, and then I just take my little makeshift bone folder and go across like that until it's nice and flat and I do that for each set and then what you'll have is um, the front lined blank well I didn't do a blank one yet blank lined and so forth until you get to the end with the back and here are the pages all the signatures prepped 12 of them, the front one, it's a stack of lined with the quote in the front, blank, lined, 
blank. These are all stacks of four pages folded in half, lined. So you can see they're alternating blank all the way to the end. And I won't just here, we'll go all the way to the end. It ends with a blank one, but I put a quote on the very back of that. There you have it. These are prepped and ready to be bound when we get to that stage.